Hello there. My name is Pepe. Weblord Pepe. And I'm going to give you my two cents on the whole Flame War slash Fanboy War of the OS X versus Windows 7 versus anything else desktop argument. Crap. That's exactly it. It's all crap. More or less, what people need to realize is that your desktop interface that you see, middleware applications, etc., are only part of a system. They're only part of the entire computer interface system stuff. And the pros and cons of one thing over another, as far as the interface goes, are not really necessary necessarily a reason to choose an entire system. For example, any of the amazing functionality that you'll see in the new version of Windows will ultimately become available in previous Windows or other operating systems. For example, Gnome Do. This recently came out. It's a new version of a program called Gnome Do. They recently put a little feature into it which basically lets you access your system via a dock type interface. Gnome Do itself, the program is a kind of be all, everything all shortcut to your entire system kind of thing. Um, you can literally type what you want to do. For example, send an email to Nana, not that anyone ever uses a computer to do that, or look up maps, etc. You'll notice here that this has almost the exact same functionality as what you would find in Windows 7. There is no names on the icons there. Um, they've got a little dot under them to tell you that they're going. Um, very similar in functionality to the OSS desktop or the Windows 7 desktop. Now those two desktops function differently but look similar. Um, that's about it as far as the flame wall goes. This program here called Gnome Do runs on Mono, which is basically .NET, so it should run on Windows and OS X and Linux as well, provided that everything works well, which it probably won't. Anyway, you'll notice here if I right-click Firefox, it has the current windows which are open, etc., etc. I can, that's a shortcut right there, I can click on it. My list, contact list opens up, which is right there, which I'm not going to show you, and there's a dot under it to show that it's open. And you'll also notice everything else is kind of there. Well, that basically concludes this demonstration, except it wouldn't be complete without a whole look at my desktop cube. So, here we go. This is my desktop cube, and that there is my fish. His name is Fish. I've tried to make him look like the dope fish, but it doesn't seem to have a default model for it. Alright, well, that concludes this presentation, and uh, go Linux!